Hey, it's Ellie, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. Yes, uh, let us address this situation here. I did cut my bangs last night. It was very uh, spontaneous, reckless of me. I do not know how I feel about it. I just felt like I wanted a little bit of a plot twist before the end of the year. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. We're just gonna be very direct with this video. It's very chill. I know that this is a little bit different from my regular content, which is all about nursing, studying, etc. But you guys, I'm I'm done with my nursing student journey. Don't get me wrong, I'm still gonna be doing nursing content in the future because I have tons of things that I want to share with you guys, a lot of tips and tricks, essentials that I want to show you guys. So Please stay tuned for that. But you guys also have to remember that I'm also in my adulting phase. You know, I'm done with college, just graduated, passed the boards, and now we're moving on to bigger and better things. You guys already know from the title of this video, I'm going to be giving you guys seven easy steps for you guys to successfully prepare for the new year. Let's get into it. Okay, so number one, the first thing that I want you guys to do before the year ends is I want you to reflect on this past year. Just the other day, I took the liberty of going into my Instagram story archive and scroll all the way to January and I wanted to see and like browse through all of my stories throughout the year to see what exactly did I do? What did I accomplish? What significant things happened throughout my past year? Okay, here's what you do. Grab a notebook, sit down, and reflect on three things. Your memories, moments, and milestones. And that is what I wrote in my notebook and I'm going to share with you right now. I'm pretty sure I have some missing because I don't story everything all the time. I tend to forget. But here is what I saw on my stories archive. Number one, I went out with my family a lot. Now, my family and I are very, very busy people, but not to the point where like we have our own lives and we forget to like bond with each other we're just busy overall together as a family and so this year I really think we made it an effort to go out together kind of bond more my family and I are really into like cafes and restaurants so we went to a lot of cafes this year actually and it is my favorite thing ever I love hanging out with my family I love cafes Family, cafes, together, paradise. Number two, I met a few Hates Ellie fans in person. Um, I think that was really cute. It was actually in school. I was sitting down and these two people caught my eye. They were like, oh my gosh, at the Ellie, at the Ellie. And I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, people know me, people recognize me. I had my mask on and everything. And it was just a really, really cute moment. It's very memorable. And now, I don't know, I'm just really happy about that. It was really cute. It was a very wholesome moment for me. It was also very touching. It was also very touching because sometimes you forget that the people that you interact with on the internet are real people. You know what I mean? So it's like, oh my gosh, like these people know me. I'm the one who's been girling right now. Like, you know who I am? Like, ah! Anyways, number three, I made a lot of content. As I was going through my stories, I noticed a lot of stories promoting my videos. So I was like, oh, I probably made a lot of content this year. I actually haven't looked back and seen how many videos. You know what? Let me check. Um, I made a lot of TikTok content. I made a total of 14 videos this year. Now, hear me out, hear me out. It was my last year of nursing school, okay? Fourth year, tons of pressure. Graduation, so many things going on. Board exams, okay? Give me a break. I'm sorry. I'm a busy person, okay? I'll do better. I'll do better, I promise. Number four, I went to my first concert, which is Zach the Budlo. So memorable. I have no words. He is literally... Bleh. I was about to say he is the best performer I have ever seen, but he's the only performer I've ever seen. Number five, worked with an Australian nursing company. That was a sponsorship. Um, number six, graduated nursing school. Hey, graduated nursing school. That was that was a big, big milestone. Big milestone. Number seven, I got an iWatch. Uh, this, I, did I just call it an iWatch? I got an Apple Watch. Okay, this was my parents' graduation gift to me, but it was also on my wish list for such a long time. I was contemplating like, do I want it? Do I not? Thank you, mom and dad, for my gift. I love it. Super useful. I don't care what people tell you. I feel like iWatches are super useful. They are for me, and I don't lie. Number eight, um, bought my dream hard drive. Now, 
that sounds like a stretch like oh dream hard drive like such a dork but you have you guys have no idea because like this the first time i saw this kind of hard drive was like with bethany mota you know what i'm talking about like that era of youtubers i always saw the og youtubers using this hard drive and i would always buy cheap ones and the one that I was using before this eventually got like corrupted. I couldn't retrieve any of my files back, so I had to buy a new one. And so I decided to buy this with my own money. It was a bit expensive for a hard drive, but it is like one terabyte. But it was just such a milestone for me because the moment I bought this, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm a legit YouTuber right now. I'm literally Bethany Mota. I don't know, it sounds dorky, but I'm, I'm super proud of it, okay? I bought it with my own money, whatever. Number nine, cut my hair super short. It was definitely a moment. It was my short hair era. It's definitely grown out now. I didn't even mean to cut it up until here. I asked for like just, just below the shoulders, but then it ended up being like here and I didn't mind it. And the reason behind that is because my whole family personally knows that hairdresser, like we met him the year, the year that we decided to move to the Philippines. I don't know and but like he's been cutting my hair ever since and it was a memorable haircut because it was the first time that my parents like left me there they were like oh you go ahead get your hair cut and we're gonna go shopping and so I was like well I have no choice I have to converse because usually it's my parents who converse for me but this time it was me so it was like my first time having kind of a heart-to-heart -heart talk with my hairdresser it was just really nice because we were like he was opening up talking about family we were talking about like adulting life and so that's probably why he ended up cutting it so short because we were having such a good conversation so that was another good moment for me plus i really liked my short hair era it was really carefree like i didn't have to style it or anything and it was cute i don't know it was something new something kind of bold of me to try i usually don't do like super duper short hair but i might do it again this year so watch out um number 10 i saw my senior high school friends again it was my friend favis's graduation party and she invited our little group from senior high and so i was super super happy about that i got to see them after how many years i don't even know i don't even know and it was like nothing ever happened don't you just love it when like you haven't seen someone in so long but when you do get to see each other it's like nothing ever happened it's just the same feeling it felt so good and i love them so so much i do hope to meet them again more often this coming year number 11 bought things with my own money i can definitely say i was more financially independent this year i was able to like buy my own clothes with my own money um buy my own shoes accessories buy my own um personal like hygiene needs you know usually your mom's always the one who pays for that stuff but this year definitely and actually a little bit of last year i was able to provide for most of my needs a couple of groceries i pay for my own coffee but that's pretty much it so thank you mom um also paying my own phone bills paying for like my disney plus bills spotify bills stuff like that so i can definitely say i was more financially independent this year which i'm super super proud about and i hope to be even more financially independent in the next year but we'll talk about my goals later number 12 became mutuals <laughs> became mutuals with a famous person okay i don't want to like i'm not saying we're like super duper close okay we're not hanging out or anything but like she follows me on tiktok she's been like like she likes my stuff i like hers she notices me on facebook and tiktok and i don't want to like name drop because it's kind of weird um uh number 13 went on a bgc date uh i love bgc and I hope to live there in that area someday. I'm saving up. So yeah, I really wanted to have a date there because usually I have dates near where I live or usually because of the pandemic, like I'd have like at home dates. You know you know what, let's stop talking about dates. Anyways, I had a date uh, at BGC and it was great. It was one of my favorite dates. Number 14, Moira De La Torre noticed me on TikTok. Yes. But also, so did Francine Diaz and Esnir, and a couple of other famous people had liked my TikToks. And bitter people always go on my TikTok and be like, oh, they just pressed it, they just pressed it. It doesn't matter. 
They pressed it. That's what. That's all that matters here. It doesn't matter if it was an accident. The fact is they did it and I'm proud of that. Number 15, made a legit nursing study wall. I'm super proud of that. I never thought that I could do that. I never thought that I would find the time to because I was literally more than halfway through my nursing study period and I still had nothing on my wall. So I was really worried because the board exams were coming close and I still had nothing on my wall. So I was getting worried with myself, like, am I not prepared? So I'm very proud of myself because the moment that I noticed that within myself, I was, I took action immediately. I grabbed a piece of paper, grabbed my Sharpies, grabbed my markers and started working on my nursing wall. And it ended up looking like this insert picture or video here i am very proud of it i got really emotional when i took it all off because it was like i was taking off my blood sweat and tears but i'm really proud of myself for being able to accomplish that um number 16 passed the nursing board exam that was my last one yeah milestone for sure that is a milestone and i'm very very proud of that i couldn't have done it without <sighs> So many people. I couldn't have done it without you guys constantly sending me DMs and comments on my YouTube videos telling me that how much I inspire you and how much you guys are looking forward to seeing me pass. I must admit it was a lot of pressure. It was a lot of pressure because I didn't want to let you guys down but I also tried my best to use it as a motivation which I did and it worked. So thank you so much. I couldn't have done it without my family, my parents, my sister, my brother. They were all so, so, so supportive and even my special someone. Yes, I'm very thankful because everyone who was surrounding me during the time that I was studying, they all gave me so much energy, so much hope. Um, I'm literally going to cry. I <laughs> <clears throat> You have no idea how helpful you were in terms of like my mental, emotional, physical state. So yeah, um, I'm just happy that I was able to accomplish all of these things during the year. Now let's stop getting emotional, come on. Let's take, let's take a big sip of water. Bangs are looking good. Everything is good, everything is good. Okay, so that was the first step. Reflect on the past year. I hope you guys find the time to do that for yourselves as well because as you can see, it really gives you a lot of gratitude. Um, it gives you a lot of peace because I definitely went through a lot this year. And so being able to look back and really pick out the memories, the moments, and the milestones that I experienced really gave me a sense of relief. It gave me a sense of peace. Um, in knowing that no matter how many things I went through, I was able to experience all of these amazing things. And so I'm very, very grateful. As corny and cliche as it seems, you guys, the people on TikTok were right, y'all. The That girls, they were right. They literally journal what they're grateful for every single day and it makes you feel so much better. Which brings me to step number two, prepare your planner and your journal. Okay, so my journal is still on its way because I ordered it online, but this is my planner. It's very, very simple, very minimal. There's nothing much to it. I personally don't really go for the very fancy, you know, designer type planners. Usually the layouts that they have are just not the kind of layout that works for me. I love the layout that Veco planners have. If I could just show you guys a flip through real quick. You guys, it's just super simple and I love simplicity. So first of all, you have like the overview of three years, basically, um, 2022, 2023, and 2024. And then you just go straight into your monthly layout. And then after your monthly layout, you then have your weekly layout. And then you have this whole blank space for you to write any kind of notes and or like journal prompts and I just love having that extra space for me to write in just in case I don't have enough space in the weekly layout. So that is the planner that I've been using for the past basically all throughout my college years. I will update you guys when I get a journal. Now I really 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 wanted to invest in a fancy journal because you know I feel like planners can get a little messy. Like I'm personally very messy with my planner. I like to write everything like as in everything in here i like to highlight color doodle 
all of that so that's why a very simple planner is reasonable for me but it is my first time to try journaling for the year so i really wanted like a cute journal one that already had all of the prompts ready but they're just i don't know they're kind of expensive um for now i just really want to get used to the habit of listing things down journaling every single day before i decide to invest on a good journal so what i'll do is basically i bought a plain journal and then i will just copy any kind of journal prompts that i want to fill in from like pinterest or instagram or wherever i see them number three set very specific goals for the new year emphasis on the very specific based on experience i've always just said like oh i want to lose weight oh i want to be healthy and those are too vague they're too general you need to be more specific so let us go through some of the goals that i set for myself for this coming new year number one of course always reach my weight goal number two reach 100k subscribers on youtube i have a good feeling that it's going to be this coming year um number three create a consistent morning and night routine get my driver's license save up and buy a car buy a new laptop the next three are blurred because they are secret projects that i'm currently working on so just stay tuned read one book a month uh, I want this to be more of like self-help, self-improvement, or finance books. Very adulting, boring, but helpful kind of books. Follow a consistent weekly schedule. Finish decorating my room or workspace. This is my room slash workspace, so I want to decorate it in a way that will make me feel like the person I want to be. Next, I want to update my style and my wardrobe. I literally wear the same thing every week. Not that that's a bad thing. I'm not saying that, you know, we have to have so many clothes. I'm just saying that my clothes and my style is kind of outdated um, based on my taste as of now. So I want to update it. Hit 100k followers on my second TikTok, which is now Hates hey Ellie. Have another source of income. Learn how to cook at least one new recipe a month. Since I've been so busy, I just don't have the time to learn how to cook because I'm also the one who like cleans and washes the dishes. So it's like pick one or the other you cook or you wash the dishes but i can't do both but this year i'm going to try to do both i really want to learn how to cook i am a grown woman i should be able to learn how to cook things besides pancakes and eggs um next is document moments in a journal or album so yes i will be having again a journal but also i want to like print out moments like i want to be able to print out pictures that i took from each month and put it all together in like a journal or an album you know old school i love that i want to be able to collect that starting this coming year lastly is make new friends and hang out with them i feel like i need to expand my crowd don't get me wrong i am not complaining on the friends that i have currently i love them and i've definitely grown to have good friendships throughout nursing school and college it's just that now that I am moving on to the next chapter of my life, I am growing older, I'm adulting, my interests are changing, and hopefully a little more mature, I feel like I need to expand my circle. I need to meet and mingle with people who have the same interests as me, who are the same age as me. I would just like to put myself out there a little more and meet more people i mean there's just so many people out there so many potential friends who could help you grow who could help you change who could help you go towards your goals and become the person who you long to be and just knowing that it inspires me and i want to meet as many people as i can because there's just so many things that each and every person could offer so i plan to make new friends and hang out because i definitely have not had the time to hang out at all this past year it's just been way too busy i've been focused on school graduating boards and now that i've i'm guessing i've freed up a little bit of my time i would like to use that time to to live <laughs> you know what i mean so yeah those are just a few of my goals that i listed down this is just in one sitting so if there's more i will just write them down and update you guys so yeah those are my goals for the incoming year break down these goals that you have into monthly goals 
or weekly goals and then daily habits so you want to reach your weight goal so that is your yearly goal now we can break that down into losing this many pounds per month we can break that down into losing this many pounds per week and then we can break that down into daily habits like what do you have to do to lose that many pounds in a week or in a month you would have to exercise like 30 minutes a day you would have to log in your calories if you're doing a calorie deficit things like that so that's just trying to take the big picture and breaking it down into easier achievable goals so that in the long run you'll be able to reach these yearly goals that you set for yourself. Step number five is to pick your word for the year. Now, if you guys don't know, this is basically your theme. This is going to be your theme throughout January to December. What is one word that will sum up your year? Last year, I think my word was independence, and I definitely was able to achieve that all throughout the year. Like I said earlier, I slowly became more financially independent. I was able to do a lot of things on my own. So yeah, that was my word or my theme for the year. So this year, my word is going to be transformed. I want to transform myself this year. I feel like for the past four years, you know, nursing life, college life, I have been this one person all throughout. I've definitely grown don't get me wrong, but I have only grown as a nursing student. I've only grown as a college student. You know what I mean? Now I feel like it's time for me to grow as a person. Well, I did grow as a person. I can say I have changed my mindset all throughout those four years, but I just feel like it's the same old me, just with like different habits, with different a different mindset now. But now I want to completely transform myself into the person that I've always wanted to be i want to spend this year setting myself up for my future setting myself up for success setting myself up for all those opportunities that i could have if i could achieve and become the person i want to be so i want to transform this year so that is my word and if you guys have figured out what your word of the year will be then please 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 comment it down below share your thoughts because i would really like to know what other words you guys are thinking of right now because i've heard independence transform invest words like that so if you guys have a word on your mind right now please go to the comment section and comment it down i would really really love to read those number six collect pictures that resonate with your goals and theme obviously our number one source for aesthetic photos is pinterest um, go ahead and make a board for the new year and just scroll scroll through your pinterest pick out all of the pictures that resonate that motivate you that make you want to do something to achieve your goals now after completing this step of course number seven and the last step is to create your vision board now if you guys want to see my personal vision board and how i make it then please stay tuned because i will definitely be making a video about that but that is all I have for the seven easy steps to successfully prepare for the new year. I know this video is a bit longer than what you probably anticipated, but I really wanted to make this video not just a sit down video of telling you seven steps to prepare, but also kind of sharing my story to hopefully inspire you to share yours. Please comment down below your memories, moments, milestones from this past year because I would really, really love to read all of that. Again, I hope you found this video helpful and if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media right here. I'm Ellie with the bangs and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.